So hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today in this video we will discuss on a very important topic that might be very helpful for many of you who are looking for job in Power BI role. So the topic is you can see on the screen is why are you not getting a job in Power BI? We'll discuss what is the actual reason behind that. You will get to know after the interview why you are being left out by the companies and what you must do before facing the interviews of most of the big companies so that you don't lose your opportunities on those dream companies. So please watch the video till the end. So I've tried to explain this using Power BI only. So let's start. I will click on this and it will take me to the right page. So let me click here. So I have divided this into four categories. First one is as you can see on the screen, it is Power BI only. Okay. So if you come into this category, so you should know what exactly you have to do. So if I will hover on this, you can see you will lose 40 to 50 percent of your job opportunities if you come into this category. Why I'm saying this? Because nowadays, even if companies are recruiting for Power BI role, they are demanding not only Power BI, they are demanding some more skills also from you. Okay. So if you have started your career and you are in Power BI role from the starting of your career, then obviously you don't have any other skills, right? So before going to give the interview, you just check whether in the JD only Power BI skill is required or not. If some other skills are also required, then you should do your preparation accordingly. If only Power BI is required, then you can go and give the interview. Okay. But in most of the companies nowadays, they are requiring, they are requiring more skills. So that's why I have mentioned here you will lose 40 to 50 percent of your job opportunities if you have only power BA as your skill set okay that's why i have mentioned this in red color it is in it shows you that you are in danger zone okay now comes the second category that is power bi plus etl tool any any etl tool suppose you have your skill set as power bi plus plus you have also worked on other etl tools like all tricks Tailend, SSIS, Informatica and other. So you will definitely have an upper edge over the people who who have Power BI as their only skill set. Okay. But even if you come into this category, it might be possible that you will lose 20 to 30 percent of your job opportunities. So if you are falling in this category, just see the JD before the interview and change your resume as per that. Okay and show your skill set as per the job description okay and then apply and give the interview you should not fall in this category to get a job in power bi okay now comes the third category that is power bi plus sql plus data warehousing concepts okay so this is the category which you should aim for nowadays companies are demanding this category for the power bi role if i hover over this you can see it is fair enough to get a job in Power BI role. So this combo you have to go with. Okay. SQL here denotes means you have worked on some of the databases, relational databases like SQL Server or, or you have worked on MySQL Workbench or you have worked on Oracle database. So you have a prior knowledge of SQL. Okay. Or I would not say you that you should have a advanced level knowledge of SQL, but Definitely moderate level knowledge of SQL is required when you are going to give interview for the Power BI. Okay. Plus, you should also know some data warehousing concepts because these data warehousing concepts are directly related to your data modeling in Power BI. Okay. So, Power BI plus SQL plus data warehousing concept. So, if you have this combination, then definitely you will get a job. If you have a proper knowledge, you will definitely get a job in as a power bi developer and now comes the fourth category that is power bi plus sql plus data warehouse plus ssas and that is the tabular model not the cube because cube is uh, becoming obsolete day by days so companies are focusing on tabular model because we can deploy the tabular model in azure analysis services also instead of sql server analysis service so if you have an additional skill set of SSAS, then that will be the perfect combination 
to kick start or switch to some other good company or any of your dream companies okay so see in which category you fall in all these four categories if you are there in the fourth category and you have if you have a proper knowledge of all these skill sets that i have mentioned here you will definitely get a job i can say 100% you will get a job if you have a decent knowledge in all these four things okay but even if you fall into third category also you and you have a decent knowledge then also you will get the job eh, as a power bi developer okay but, but if you fall in the first two categories then definitely you are in danger and you should try to come out uh, and get into the third or fourth category so that's it from this video i hope you got to know why you are being left out by the companies after the interview what is the actual reason and in 2022 you will prepare your skill set as what i have recommended you in this video and definitely i i can assure you if you have this fourth category or third category combo with the proper knowledge you will get the job as a power bi developer so good luck for your future opportunities thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed the channel so please subscribe it because i will keep uploading such valuable videos for you all thank you